Hey guys, it's uh, Frankie here again. Um, just thought I'd uh, knock together another quick video here for um, Scrapebox and um, sort of go through the um, commenter um, section of the um, application. Um, in the other video I showed you about harvesting URLs. I harvested some uh, WordPress blogs um, and went through the functions there. So now I'll go on to the um, comment feature. Um, Scrapebox uh, allows you to comment on uh, WordPress, movable type and uh, blog engine blogs and um, it's uh, pretty fast, it allows you to get a lot of backlinks um, probably one of the most um, successful applications I've ever used in obtaining uh, backlinks um, I've even found Scrapebox uh, more powerful than XRummer um, I mean, X from a, you submit, you know, a million URLs and, you know, not many of them stick, but um, Scrapebox, I, I can get double the amount of backlinks with, um, you know, less, a fraction of the size, so I'll get right into it. Um, with the uh, comment poster here, you've got a, a number of inputs, uh, names, emails, websites, comments, um, and the blog list. Um, these here are pretty much exactly what you'd find if you typed a comment into a WordPress blog manually. If you comment on a blog with your browser, um, you type in your name, you type in your email, you type in your website to get your backlink, and then you type in your comment and uh, hit submit. Well, Scrapebox really no different except you've got one other input box down here, and this is a list of blogs that you want to comment on. Um, which you gather from the harvester up here. So what we'll do here is we'll go and load up these files. Um, we've got here, these are pretty much the defaults I think um, I've still got. Open your, your names, uh, emails, websites, this is your websites, your backlinks, um, comments and blog lists onto WordPress. Right, so they're loaded. That's pretty much um, what it is. Names, emails, websites, uh, comments, um, and your list of blogs. Um, you can edit them straight in the application. Uh, these are the names that um, come with it. You can you can edit those uh, right in here and save and apply them. Uh, another cool feature is uh, Scrapebox has got a, a Wizzy wig mode, uh, I think that's what you call it, um, I'll show you that in a second emails, um, these are the defaults that come in it, um, you don't have to use real emails, actually I think it's better if you don't um, so they're loaded up there, what Scrapebox will do is it will randomly um, grab one of these emails every comment, um, it'll do this with all the files um, same with the names that we just opened, um, everything. It will randomly rotate them. So each comment is, um, you know, quite unique and uh, passes filters and, and that sort of thing. His websites, um, Google here, um, this is where you put your site um, for your backlink. I'll just close out of that. Uh, comments, hey, I think your blog is good. I'll go into the WYSIWYG mode and um, show you what that's all about here. In this section here you can select you know, a number of comments and you can edit them you know, with simple point and click. It's got these options up here. Um, with Scrapebox you can, you can use um, bold in your, in your comments, you can put links, um, you can also put uh, spin syntax. Um, and what this will do is basically uh, spin uh, various words so your comments come out quite unique um, so we'll go through and we'll type something in here I think your blog is good uh, I found it on and we activate the spin we can type Google Yahoo Bing um, so that'll hi I think your blog is good I found it on Google Yahoo Bing so Scrapebox will randomly choose one of those words in the brackets there 
and we'll just type the rest of it. I think I I will come back one day. Probably not, but that's what we'll tell them. Um, you can also put links straight in, um, paragraphs, breaks. You can do all sorts of stuff here. Um, you know, typing links couldn't be easier. Uh, I won't worry about that. Um, so yeah, all your options are there. You can do um, whatever you want with in in terms of style, italics, underlined. Uh, once you got your comment done, comment updated down here. Um, you can close out of it. Done. You hit save and apply. That will save it to the file on disk and update it and apply it. Uh, you got a test comment feature here, so you can see what your comment's going to look like on the blog before you um, go out and submit it. So the name will be randomly rotated. Here it's chosen Google, Yahoo, Bing, and it'll randomly spin all these fields here. So each comment's you know quite unique. Um, so that that's basically it: names, emails, websites, comments, and your list of blogs. Um, I've harvested a random list of 200 here, um, so that's it in a nutshell. Um, you can use proxies, of course, with um, the comment poster. Um, use the manage uh, proxies feature to grab proxies. Um, I strongly recommend you grab private proxies. Um, they're they're far more reliable. I mean, Scrapebox is quite quick. Um, and free proxies really aren't cut up to handle the the traffic that um, it's generated uh, with Scrapebox. Um, so that's it in a nutshell. If you harvest WordPress, you tick WordPress, you load all your files, uh, you test your comments, so you can see um, what it'll look like on the blog. Once you're all happy with it, you can go ahead and submit it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and change this and put um, 